Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Many of the people who hang out in the chat room at live.perillo.com, which by the way is also chris.perillo.com forward slash live, both will land you in the same spot. Uh, they've seen me reboot my computer uh, more than a few times, sometimes after a blue screen of death and sometimes just because I can't get something to work inside of Windows Vista. And they've seen how long it takes, and some people are astute enough to know that I've got a quad FX system, so it's no slouch, not by any stretch of the imagination. Well, SWAT, uh, who's quickly becoming one of my favorites, and I'm not just saying that, I'm not, you know, I, I am saying that, actually, because he... He sent a, a, a cap, Independence County Sheriff's Department, with SWAT, that's his handle in the chat room, it is a SWAT team, SWAT, and then in the back, it's got my last name, Perillo. So I've been wearing this around, you know, and like walking around like this, you know, not saying anything, just looking tough and everything, and then if someone like gives me a funny look, I'll just turn my head this way, and they see the word SWAT, and they're like, whoa. Whoa, 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 you know, they totally back off. It's great. I just love it. You know, just totally love it. And Ponzi is like all over me when I put on the hat because of SWAT. It is so cool. Okay, so maybe maybe she's not all over me, but uh, it is still a very cool hat. Thank you so much. I love wearing it. It's now my uh, new favorite cap, and it fits perfectly. So uh, SWAT decided to send me a tip via the iJot widget at uh, where you can record and send me some uh, video mail if you want to and I'm gonna play it back because it's a great tip and I've implemented it and I think for the most part it worked. Hey Chris, it's username SWAT from the chat room again. Um, I noticed the other day when I was watching the live feed you were having some trouble upon restart with your Vista machine. I got a tip passed on to me from another person about um, how Vista by default only recognizes one core. I was told that you may have a quad core machine or even a two core machine, I would hope, but anyway, I know if you go in under MS config and then you go to, you select boot under MS config, you open up MS config and then you select boot and then under boot you select advanced. And under the advanced you should be able to check mark the number of core boxes and go in there and change however many number of cores you got, and that should, or it's supposed to speed up your startup because then it uses however many cores you got. I just thought I'd pass that tip on to you. You probably already know about it, but I just thought I'd give it to you anyway. No, I definitely did not know about it, and lo and behold, as he did from memory uh, in the advanced options under the boot tab of the MS config tool, which is a tweaker's dream come true, uh, when I clicked it, the the default, uh, I was hoping that Windows would recognize that I had, uh, well, at least according to the operating system, four processors. Now, whether it's actually four processors is a, a different discussion altogether. But uh, I did uh, put a check mark in the box for number of processors, and then from that drop down list, selected four. Uh, when I rebooted Vista again, uh, this uh, most recent time, uh, it did seem faster. I got to admit, it. it did. I, I'm not, I, I don't know if it was twice as fast necessarily, but I certainly r recall thinking, oh, that was, that was kind of quick. Not as quick as I would want it to be, but again, that's a different story altogether. So if you have uh, more than uh, one processor in your system, more, more than one core, uh, if, you, if Windows recognizes more than one processor, that's kind of the bottom line here, uh, you might think about turning on uh, the, the option here. Like I said, it may be the placebo effect for me. I didn't do any specific benchmarks before and after. I can tell you, though, after applying this and saying, yes, I have four processors, at least according to the operating system, um, it seemed to just, the, the splash screen, that interim screen, just seemed to kind of be there, and then it was gone. So uh, I, if, if it worked, it worked. If, if Even if it was the placebo effect, if, if Vista feels like it's faster, then I'm happy. <laughs> Whether or not it actually is, that's, uh, again, that's completely different, a lot of different discussions here, a lot of offshoots. So anyway, thanks again, SWAT. Really appreciate the uh, support, uh, the tips. Uh, the, the hat is wonderful. I love this kind of stuff. It's great. Um, and uh, so anyway, uh, thank you again for your help. And if anybody else has any tips and tricks for speeding up the Windows startup, by all means, 
post a comment, suggestion, uh, tip, trick, email me, chris at perillo.com. Leave me a, a, a video, uh, post it to YouTube, or send it through the iJot widget at, at, on, the, on the website, live.perillo.com. Or, of course, you know, while you're there, feel free to hop into the chat room. It's a regular old IRC uh, ch- chat room, uh, and it's so you can get to it through any client, not just through the website. Uh, I'm, I'm imagining that a lot of people already have some kind of IRC program installed, and if not, there are plenty of free ones available uh, out there, and I think we've even reviewed those in the past. So anyway, you've got many ways that you can get a hold of any one of us at this general community at large. It's kind of like a free-flowing community. There's no you know, secret handshakes or anything. Uh, but certainly I am now way leet. You got to see this, guys. Look at this. Check this out. It's got my name. All right. And with that, hopefully we'll uh, see you soon at live.perillo.com. See you later.